Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is International Master Benny Chang. We today and I'm going to be casting a friend of my, uh, again, my friends, Dark Mug. It's a three minute game because he doesn't want to risk his five minute range. So, yeah, here we are. So, this is a, a Keen's Indian. In this line, he's actually plays many, many times this block. Uh, he's playing against Sizen King. Uh, well, he spelled it wrong, but maybe it's because Sizen King wasn't a correct spelling. Oh, okay. Uh, National match is Jeremy King. All right, so um, okay, so so here we are. Uh, this is a very standard standard position actually. Uh, it's King's Indian and blah blah blah. This is all theory. I'm not going to talk about this theory, but this has been playing play main time. Bishop d4 check first. Otherwise, bishop becomes closed after e5. So pretty much black is up a pawn, but uh, white has very good compensation. And uh, knight d6 is a new move actually. I've never actually seen knight d6 before. Um, of in my experience playing this line, I usually see knights on e4 sometimes goes to g5 because you want to attack on the king side. This knight on d6 looks pretty here, but usually doesn't do too much. Uh, this bishop can actually go to a6 in some lines, like b6, bishop a6. That's probably, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen next. Um, if black doesn't do anything, usually white's, I mean, if white doesn't do anything, black's usually okay in these lines. It's kind of hard for white to break through unless he takes this bishop back somehow. Usually the maneuver that you see in this line is knight e4 to g5 to f3, taking this bishop. And usually white's slightly better here. But uh, here, uh, black's actually still pawn, and this king side attack looks looks dangerous. But you have to, to remember that black has these two bishops here, taking these two squares away. So in any case, I think white should be the one being uh, being a bit careful here, because it's kind of hard for, for, for um, white to move. Um, so here, usually I think white's probably going to play bishop f3 and king g2, try to get something on the king side going here. It's, um, I'm not too sure what black's plan here is, probably, maybe, maybe b5, b4, um, I'm not too sure. I, th I know that, well, okay, may not, may not be 5 b4, but I know that, um, black's, well, white's, whoa, 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 bishop e4. I know black's going to have to do something, though, because, uh, if he doesn't do anything, this king g2, bishop takes h6, kind of idea is going to just kill it. So yeah, rook a7, that's the move that I was thinking of. So he's waiting for him to play king g2, and after that he's going to take on f4 check with this uh, kind of neat tactic. Um, so white's pretty much going to have to watch it for that. So I would say rook f3, but unfortunately he has bishop e2 here. So it's kind of difficult. Yeah, so he has to take this guy first. After c takes d4, c takes d5, then he can play king g2. But he lost his bishop, and now this bishop is a, is a monster. Um, this bishop can somehow could get there. Wow, knight e8. Okay, um... So knight f6 is coming, and okay, rook g6. Okay, so I guess he's sacking it, or king h8. I mean, he can try king h8, but yeah, sacking is the safest option here. Pawn takes, uh, queen takes, and queen h check. He has a spike check, but doesn't really do anything. Uh, this bishop is a monster now. If he can get his bishop to e4, it's it's going to be crushing. Yeah, so black wants to trade peak queens because, oh boy, I think black has full competition here. He actually has a very strong uh, end game. Here after camp seven, uh, I think that black should be a bit better here. Um, bishop takes b two, rook b three, um, maybe bishop bishop back to f six and then d four because he has these two pawns right, and this pawn might fall too in the future. Uh, you have to remember though that the time control is very short; it's only three minutes instead of five minutes. So a lot of these uh, <clears throat> moves will have some tactical implications that they might not see. For instance, he actually got pretty lucky here with bishop c4, defending this pawn, putting his bishop on d5 square. This is probably a really good bishop here. And um, I would say that black definitely has actually a, a, an edge here. I, I don't know what the evaluation is, but I think these two pawns are very strong. It's it's kind of hard for white to do anything here. Yeah, he has to take take on play f5, g6 f5 probably. Um, or he doesn't have to take it there actually, but he can just take it anyway because pawn takes now c3 is, is, is really strong. Or he can just take on f5. I'm not sure what the yeah. I'm not sure what uh, White's gonna do here after taking on f5. I think his main idea was he's trying to get some kind of opening on the king side in order to facilitate some kind of attack. So bishop h6 is kind of just you know bishop h6, rook b8, rook f8 kind of stuff. But it's not really gonna do too much. I would say um, this this type of uh, these two pawns are extremely extremely strong. I would say rook d7 or just d3 right away. Uh, d3 right away is probably good. Or c3, I mean, other case, it's these two pawns are going to just win the game, I would say. 
uh, c2 and so now unfortunately for uh, for whites he's gonna have to go yeah rook b8 let's try to do some checks here on the, the back rank but rook c7 c c1 queen so king e6 uh, rook e8 king d5 i mean you can just keep keep going black's gonna just keep taking and just queen, queen the pawn it's uh it's pretty straightforward i think he's probably gonna resign soon uh, i'm just gonna throw in some more a few more spike checks rook e8 king puppish king, king d7 okay king d7 yeah that, that's right so now he pretty much has the queen, uh, as he want, if he wants. But yeah, but she's on first. Keep keep this bishop, and this is a pretty good technique by Black here actually. And rook b8, and this game should be over. It takes here, technique the rook check. So he's up a piece, but you know there's time controls here, and well, White's just gonna flag here uh, pretty soon. Pick up the rook, and that's the game. So um, okay, so that's a pretty short game. I'm probably gonna be casting more three minute games because Dark Mug's kind of scared of losing his five minute rating. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some more. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.